Program 5 of Mathematic Video Learning Series. Stay with us and enjoy. Today we are looking at measuring mass. After watching this lesson, you should be able to estimate, compare, and measure mass. Add, subtract, multiply, and divide masses which are stated in decimal notation. Convert units in international system of mass using decimal notation and solve real life problems involving mass. Hi, Mr. Lucas. Hi, children. Hi, Mr. Lucas. Come 
in, come in, please. These are my horses, Prince, and the short one over here is called Shorty. You can touch them if you want to. Mr. Lucas, how much weight can the horses carry? Shorty, they can carry quite a lot. Or uh, Shorty can uh, carry quite a lot. Uh, but he's getting old now. Uh, he can uh, he can take up a weight of 380 kilograms. Sure. That is how strong sure. they, they can be. That's quite a lot of weight. Well, Lennis, let's help Mr. Lucas decide how many of these bags can he load on the cart for poor Shorty to carry safely? Mr. Lucas, you said Shorty can, the maximum weight that Shorty can carry is 380 kg. That's correct. The maximum load or mass that uh, Shorty can carry is 380 kilograms. And each of these bags weighs 50 kilograms. As you can see here, Now, Lennis, if Mr. Lucas loads three bags of flour each weighing 50 kg on the cart, will Shorty, the horse, be able to carry or to pull this cart? We need people to work out this, Miss. Let's ride on the same. See if he puts five bags of flour on the, on the horse, then the horse will be 50 kg plus 50 kg plus 50 kg. Three times 50 kilograms. Yes, and that is 150 kg. <coughs> 150 kg is much less than 380 kg, which he can carry. So yes, but Shorty will be able to carry it. Okay, well done, guys. Shorty will carry that. Okay, it's getting hot in the sun here. Let's go inside so I can tell you more about the different units we use to measure mass. The most commonly used unit of length which are used are these three. Tones, which is the biggest mass, abbreviated as a small t. Kilogram, which is used the most often in daily life. And kilogram is abbreviated with kg. And grams, the smallest unit, which is abbreviated a small g. We can also change a number from one unit to another and we call this convention of units. For example, we convert gram to kilogram or tons to kilogram. Let's say we have 3,242 grams of flour. This is quite a lot, isn't it? And it's difficult to keep saying 3,242. 42 gram. It is better to convert this to kilogram and this is how we do it. There are 1000 gram in 1 kilogram. We can say add a decimal comma to the number and say it is 3242,0 gram. Now, when converting, we move the decimal comma behind the last digit forward by as many spaces as there are zeros in the number. I know this sounds tricky. Have a look at the graphic while I say it again. There are 1000 grams in 1 kilogram. The number 1000 has three zeros, right? So every time I'm converting kilogram to gram, I change the unit to gram. And remember to multiply by a thousand. When writing, this means that I move the comma three places to the right. Of course, when I convert from grams to kilogram, I have to move the comma three spaces to the left 
as the number will get smaller. So, to get back to our number, converting 3,242 grams to kilogram, we move three places to the left. We get 3 kg and 242 gram, or more accurate. It is now 3.242 kilogram. It does get harder when the numbers get bigger. So remember the basic way to do it. For kilogram to gram, we multiply by 1000. Or move the comma three places to the right. And the opposite for gram to kilogram. We divide by 1000 or we move three steps to the left. Hi again learners. Hi, Hi Mr. Mr. Madam Presenter, I can see you have quite a clever group of learners here. I wonder whether they can help me plan my next load too. What well, pleasure, sir. Well, they are quite clever, Mr. Lucas. What can we help you with? Well, you know the maximum load or mass that Shorty can carry is 380 kilograms, right? Yes, sir. Well, you see, tomorrow I have to go to the village to, to get some millies to come and sell here in town. Now I have only have to take one quarter of millies to bring here to town to sell because I also have other stuff that I need to bring along. Uh, so what do you think is the maximum uh, uh, load I should take uh, of millies to bring here to town tomorrow? I would like you to, to help me to plan or to determine how much millies I can bring from the farm in kilograms. Okay, what do you think, Tim? A project for the chocolate? Yes, yes ma'am. All right, Jonathan, let's help yes. Mr. Lucas. Okay, the maximum load is 300. Maximum load 380 kilograms. And if Mr. Lucas H is one, one quarter of the 300. Divided by four. Of course, it is it is ninety five kilograms. All right. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. What really happened here is that we have a quarter of Mr. Lucas that he wants to go and get at his farm, and we have three hundred and eighty kg. This one is a whole number, so to make it a fraction like the other one, we make it out of one. And off means times or multiply. So the one we have on top there will cancel the one under here. So we have four and 380. It's now where we get to 380 divided by four, giving us 95 kg. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, thank you, learners. Thank you, Madam Presenter. I will definitely write this up for my trip. Hmm, I smell lunch. Mm. Learners, let's continue with comparing and ordering measurements of mass. And while we do this, remember, for kilogram to gram, we multiply by a thousand or move the comma three places to the right. And the opposite for gram to kilogram, we divide by a thousand or move three spaces to the left. And also remember, when we compare measurements, we must make sure that we use the same units. This means that sometimes we need to convert from one unit to another before we solve the mathematical problem. Let's do one together, viewers. The masses of five learners' school bags are as follow. Hendrina, 4.249 kg. Dina, 5.5 kg. Petras, 4,900 
grams. Amos, 5 kilogram. And Jonas, 4 kilogram and 750 grams. The question is, whose bag is the heaviest? Now looking at those bags' weights, firstly, we notice that some are in kilogram and some in grams. Before we can do anything else, we should convert them all to the same unit. It is simplest to convert to the smallest unit, then later convert the answers back to a bigger unit. I'll show you. Let's convert Hadrina's bag to gram. And it is 4,249 gram. Dinas is 5.5 kilogram. And it is converted to 5,500 gram. Amos' bag is easy. It is 5,000 gram. And Jonas' bag weighs 4 kilogram and 750 gram which is converted as 4000 grams plus 750 grams it weighs 4750 grams let's compare now that all units are in gram and see whose bag is the heaviest now it is easy isn't it it's clear that dinner's bag is the heaviest it weighs 5,500 grams, which is more than the other kids' bags. The lightest bag belongs to Hendrina. Lastly, viewers, let's look at the four operations. Division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction with regards to mass. Don't worry, this is quite easy and straightforward. Firstly, division. Division. We place the biggest number, the one to be divided into a little box like here, and the divisor, the four, in front of the box. Now we divide four into six. Four goes into six one time. One times four is equals to four. We subtract four from six and Two is left, which we bring to the nine, making it now 29. Four divides into 29 seven times. Seven times four is 28. So seven goes into the top and the remaining one gets added with two, meaning that we'll now divide into 12. Four divides into 12 three times exactly. Three times four is 12. So that we have the answer four divided into 692 gives an answer of 173. Next, we will look at multiplication. Yay! Multiplication! First, the rules. Look at the big number to be multiplied. We call this the multiplier. The smaller number by which we multiply is the multiplicand. The answer is called the product. Now let's calculate multiplication of this four digit number by a two digit number. The multiplier is 9538 gram, which we will multiply by the two digit number 70. We write the biggest number in the first row, which the multiplier 70 place vertically in the columns underneath the first two columns from the right. Multiplying 9,538 gram by 70 is quicker than multiplying 70 by 9,538 gram because 70 contains a zero which make it easier. Immediately, we can place a zero in the units column on the right because we know that Zero times all of the numbers in the first row will still yield zero. Now, we work with the second number in the multiplicand, namely seven. And again, we multiply with the numbers from right to left in the first row. So seven times eight is 56. We place the six in the second digit position and carry over 
the five to the second digit position, the tens, to add later. Seven times three is twenty-one, plus the five we carried over gives twenty-six. We place the six in the third digit position, under the hundred where it belongs, and remember to carry over the two again to the five in the first row. Now we multiply seven by five and get thirty-five. Plus the two we carried over, so the seven goes to the fourth digit position under the thousands, and yes, it was thirty-seven. So the three goes up to the nine to add up later. Seven times nine is sixty-three plus three, and the sixty-six is written in the column from the right to left in the last row. We see the answer. Is six hundred and sixty-seven thousand six hundred and sixty grams. Now we move on to addition. Yay, addition! Have you noticed, viewers, how much easier it makes the calculation when we have the numbers written in the correct place values? We calculate from right to left. Starting with the units on the place furthest to the right. Secondly, we calculate the tens in the second place from the right, and lastly, the hundreds in the third place left from the units. So this calculation is not a problem at all, is it? We add up the unit numbers in the far right column, followed by all the numbers in the tens column. In the second position from the right, then the hundreds in the third column from the right. The answer here is two hundred and ninety-six grams. And finally, the operation of subtraction, or to minus. Yes, subtraction. Again, make sure that the numbers are written in the correct place value to make the calculation easier. The fourth place from the right, after hundred, in the third position is thousands. Again.